Hi again guys, I'm back with another unboxing from my latest order from cubes.com So here's the next one out of the box uh, I think I know what this one is Indeed, it's uh... <coughs> Excuse me, do apologise for that It's a Langland 3x3x2 Domino uh, You might be wondering why on earth I'm buying one of these And I can show you right now uh, that's because I've taken my previous one and de-stickered it for a sticker mod so I will show the sticker mod at the end of this video as well and um, once the sticker's arrived, as I'm actually filming that, the stickers haven't actually arrived yet but that's fine, uh, once it does I will sticker it and upload the video this is another landline one as well, so it's identical to this one, the turning quality is fine um, pretty much standard for a domino as far as I'm aware the, you know, the, they turn perfectly well, you don't really get much in the way of corner cutting on them, but you get a little um, perfectly acceptable for solving purposes, not a difficult puzzle to solve um, but a fun one and it's a great introduction to cuboids if you're new to them but yeah it's really not a difficult one I'll just scramble it to show you what it looks like scrambled and show you how the quality of the turning is and you can see it's dead easy to turn, perfectly smooth um, no lockups or anything like that so it's a very nice little puddle very cheap but it's a great one to have in your collection as I say it's definitely a good one to have as an, intro an introduction to cuboids um, I will upload this video once I've got the other one restickered as I said because this is just a replacement for that one since I'm restickering the other one and since the other one had had a lot of use it had, the, the stickers were a little worn so it's nice to have one with new stickers of this variety on and I'll re-stick of the old one which makes sense to me so yeah I will upload that video once it's on so yeah not really much more to say until that point I'll see you when I'm alright then so I've got the 3x3x2 stickered now um, it's in the form of a Pokemon and Super Cube type stickers um, as you can see I've got these um, extra colored bars on every sticker which give it a specific position and orientation however on this particular one it's very much like the um, the 2x2 two two version that I've got here they don't actually perform um, sorry serve any purpose um, all the pieces of course corner pieces of course on a 2x2 two two have a specific position with or without these bars I only got this one because it kind of completes the collection in this series um, with this one there is a slight difference there's um, an orientation required of the centerpiece on the white and yellow faces um, that's not going to be too difficult to solve um, but it is going to add a slight extra difficulty level on top of the regular domino but I, again I, I really wanted this one as much as anything else as the kind of continuation of the collection rather than specifically because it's going to add, add an extra real difficulty level although the orientation of the center is important of course um, it's not going to be too difficult as I said so it's really kind of a wanting to complete the collection as I uh, as I get the, more of them and grow it um, hopefully you will see over coming months that I get more and more in this collection so let's just give one, this one a, a quick scramble up so I can give it a solve it's, this has got the standard kind of land land turning quality um, just the same as the new one has if anything actually the new one feels a bit a little bit better it's a little bit looser um, but yeah, this is still kind of in the, easily fitting get trickable but yeah as I said earlier I wanted to re-sticker the old one since the stickers were slightly worn right as well keep the brand new stickers as opposed to the old version so yeah I think I'll call that scrambled I'll go away give it a quick solve and I'll come back to you when I've done so okay so as you can see the Pokemon Domino is solved again as you can see they've got the send pieces oriented correctly um, it's not necessarily entirely obvious how you go about orienting the centers um, the way you do it on um, a 3x3 cube for example certainly doesn't work um, say a picture cube for example but um, having experience with all the other cubes and things that I've got with these sticker variation um, I did kind of have a good idea how to go about it which would work um, but if you've never encountered it before it, it would probably be not incredibly difficult or anything but take a little bit of thought to figure out exactly how you need to go about it to avoid those being rotated the wrong way 
but yeah fun little solve didn't take me too long just a couple of minutes to solve it um and yeah it's good tin quality as i said um but it's it's just something to add to the collection rather than meant to be a hugely challenging one this one um hopefully the larger order cuboids that i'll get to later will be um will have an extra challenge on top of their regular versions but yeah this is um well i've said it several times now so i'm just repeating myself but yeah meant to be just part of a whole collection once i've got it completed um and that's what the intention behind it um i actually kind of intended to get the other ones that you'll see in other videos first and i just thought i'd add this one as a kind of almost an afterthought and i thought you know what i might as well get this one as well while i'm at it and um, start the collection off right kind of thing so anyway I, I think that's about it for this video i don't think i can really say too much without repeating myself yet again um thanks very much for watching and i will see you next time